Hello, this is Pamela, the Stampin' Pink Rose, where stamped ideas are always in bloom. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and this is our Technique Wednesday, so I want to welcome you to my site for our Technique. You can see this beautiful card I hear, here that I use with Rooted Nature. And I'm going to show you a technique, in fact, it's going to be two techniques, to use because... How many times does somebody see your fingers after you've been up in your room and either they know what you're doing or they're asking what's wrong with your fingers because they're totally covered in ink. So we're going to eliminate that need. So this is technique one. And I have taken my sponge, which I have one pre-cut. Let me see if I can grab it first before I use open up another one. Got it. Sorry about that, guys. This is the sponge. They come in a three-pack. I've got one here that I've cut apart. So all you do, and I want to make sure I'm in sight, is cut it apart. Okay. The next step is, and I haven't labeled this one. But notice that these are labeled. I've got Lemon Lime Twist, Balmy Blue. Now, there's points of times you want a sponge dommer. And that is great for a limited area that you want to cover. But when you want to cover more of an area, you want to use the sponge. But when you use the sponge, you get all over your finger. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick your color you want. Let's say I wanted Mellow Mambo. Then I would write on here with a magic marker, Mellow Mambo. And then I would keep my sponge hooked on to here. So it's all ready to go. And I would just keep an, a tray, a pile of these. Okay? So, that's tip one. I think that's wonderful to use the sponge that way. Now, we're going to make this card. Now, I think grid paper is a little heavier uh, you could use probably some cardstock, but the only problem is that if you use the cardstock, it's going to blend with your white background if that's what you're using. And that's what, in all likelihood, you're going to use is the white background. So it's going to blend. So you need a contrast. And rather than use my good paper, I choose to cut up a piece of the grid paper. And what I do is I've got balmy blue. So, I'm going to show you the card again. This is Balmy Blue. Now, I don't want just a puffy cloud. I want my sky to flow as though it's really the sky. Now, I'm going to ink across. And normally, I would use an ink refill. But I evidently either can't find it or didn't order one, which is a no-no. And I put one on order. It will be okay. So, because you don't want it real thick anyway. So now you're going to take this. And I've cut it loopy. Kind of dippy. The, the paper. And you can make it as deep as you want it to be. Okay. Now I want to bring it down. And I'm going to move it over a little. I'm going to do it a little different. Okay. And then I'm going to take it right here and I'm going to bring it up in this side. So all you're going to do is just take your sponge dauber and do that. Okay. Then if you want on the bottom piece, I did it freehand, but on a bottom piece, If I want my hill with the lemon lime twist, let me close this with the lemon lime twist, and I want the hill because it's spraying and everything is getting really, really green. OK. 
Okay, and I want to make sure it's not too streaky. Some of that grass got a little greener than I wanted. But anyway, now I've made a little bit of a hill. I made it a little taller than I normally do. But you're just going to use your grid paper to make your shape. What you want to get the sky to go across because you don't want just a plain cloud up there. And then you're going to take your clothespins. You're going to label them. You're going to cut that sponge. I think they're $2.53 a piece for a package of these. You're going to take your sponge. You're going to cut them apart. And you're going to have that to use all the time when you are ready to um, create some background of sky. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this card forward. I want to remind you that I have another project that also uses the sponge that is going out as a newsletter today with a picture and the detailed project of it that is totally different than this one. And so if you subscribe to my newsletter, you'll be able to get that project on top of learning this technique of using your uh, sponges and using your grid paper. So this is Pamela the Stampin' Pink Rose. Keep watching. Next week I will be introducing my online classes. And I will have them going out next Tuesday. And then also that will be the day of my weekly newsletter because it's not the first of the month yet. So that will go out then. And Friday is card fold and I've already got a card fold in mind for doing that. So I'm hoping I give you some ideas. I've also started doing Facebook. There will probably be a Facebook announcement. If not this week, at least by the first of next week, telling you when it's going to be. I'm trying to get on a schedule with Facebook Live for you. And when we do that, we do a one sheet wonder. So again, this is Pamela the Stampin' Pink Rose, where Stampin' Ideas are always in bloom. I hope to see something blooming in your garden, too. Take care and have a great day.